And this is Priscilla Batzel, an expressionist art studio gallery's backyard, and welcome to another experiment. I have been making a lot of scapes recently, and I want to keep exploring ways to do that. And I think that I don't need to add a layer of wet paint to the canvas, but I'm not certain of that. That's an Arteza pearl, and these are Arteza gold, and this is what happens when you leave it set with the Floetrol GAC 800 and... and um, <laughs> that decor pouring medium in them. And the uh, the spatula is a Princeton Artil Kettle spatula, and that is definitely on my Amazon link in blue, first thing below. Show more usually, unless there's an Arteza coupon, which there might be. In any case, so, these colors over here are going to be part of my stripes. And I have some silver, some black, and I've been wanting to do this with really simple plain colors for a while and I just want to make sure everything is shaken. I'm going to use a little bit of my copper which is similar. And we're going to find out once and for all if I can do a really simple stripey, stripey base. I am going to go for the, um, the Prussian blue and maybe a little more of that. And I'd like to be able to put a little, slightly more massive areas of whatever, but I don't want to go too far outside my central area because I am going to be tilting this. I'm going to try and put a sky in as well. I've been tilting a bunch of things lately and I like the effect very much. That's a beautiful bronze. I'm looking forward to adding, whoop, don't want to go too far outside my my safety zone. Find the top to that somewhere. What am I looking for? Maybe a little silver in there won't hurt. This is really thick silver. No matter how many times I find it thick and add some some more Floetrol to it, it seems to want to just continue on its thickening way, but I don't care so long as I get color saturation out of it. Will be like I said. I will be tilting, and I have some other gold colors here. I think I want some more black in there, and I did use the Anita's metallic black, which is not really the same. Who knows how that's going to turn out. I'm going to wipe off my Princeton Artil Kettle spatula because any time that there's metallic paint and it dries, it's super hard to get off. And I'm going to get some of these out of the way. I hope that they don't dry up. Actually, I'm going to find the caps and be smart enough to put them on so I still have something left that's not gummy on the top when I come back to it. Although, even though it's super hot out here, that's not usually a problem. So, that's supposed to be my bottom. And I think... I'm going to take a chance and put some more silver over there because I like the uh, difference in the colors. There's a better word for that. <laughs> Pretty sure there is. All right, so up in my sky, I am going to do, I'm going to try and go outside my comfort zone and be as simple as possible and not worry about it because it's an experiment. I have another color blue, and I'm very tempted to use it. I think it's too dark. Let's go with something something a little brighter. Or let's find, yes, let's find an Arteza. And stir that puppy up. All right, so you can see that's separated, but it doesn't take much to remix it and then wipe off your spatula every time. That way you don't get little things pulling through. I'm going to use my finger. It's probably not as simple as I intended, but it's still pretty simple and I can always add paint afterwards. I don't want to waste any of this. This is really beautiful paint, by the way. This pearl stuff is um, unbelievable when it dries. Just absolutely gorgeous. So I use what I refer to as edge catchers. And they are now the now paint covered plastic inserts to the front panel I have a 16 by 20 inch value pack of Artist's Loft canvases. So I'm going to spread this out today. 
I usually go the wrong direction, I say. But I think at this point in time, I just want to go however I have to go to get it started. I'm going to rock that, let it go back over. I may swipe in my sky. I will definitely always utilize any paint on my edge catcher. And there's a good chance I will be... That's going... Wait. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use a different direction than that so I have a place for my sky to go and line it up. And mostly, I want my land area to be cool. I got something tickle in my knee, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna sound funny for a minute. All right, so now I said I would and so I will. I will scrape up anything and everything off of my edge catcher as I can see it. And I will use my spatula to swipe some stuff in, clean it off, grab the rest, just like that. And I could drag that through, but I'm going to be tilting. I like the fact that the sky is still way up high, which means that I'm going to use this edge catcher as soon as I can. Make sure that it's as clean as I can make it and clean off my spatula every time now. I hate coming back later and finding stuff. So, I still haven't made too much of a mess on my, on my tile, although I have a slight mess. So I'm going to take the paint right off and put it on the canvas. It's just easier <laughs> than wiping it off and having to clean the cloth later. So I'm just going to do that. Cool. All right. So what was I saying? I was saying I was going to dump this paint down and let it all run. The length of the canvas before then tilting it back up again, which is actually turning up pretty cool. And I'm loving it. I can let that go back the other way again, too. I like to aim it toward um, <laughs> aim it toward another edge catcher. So I like to keep a lot of these around and underneath my work. And as long as I've got another one, I'm going to do that. This is only a 12 by 16 inch canvas, by the way, and I think it might be a lot easier for newbies to handle. Not that it, there's anything super easy about handling it, even if I make it seem that way, because it's really an acquired skill. So the sooner you get to it, the sooner you'll have good luck with it. That was maybe more paint than I needed there, but I don't mind. Every time I change something up, it becomes pretty cool. Newly cool. All right, let's just grab the rest of that. Clean my edge catcher right off. Let whatever paint is on my fingers travel over. I want something else up here, but I'm not sure how much more I really need. And my bottom edge is completely covered. And I'm going to check my top edge. And whatever I can steal <laughs> and let roll down over, I'm going to do that. I could actually stick another edge catcher up on the top and tip everything in the other direction, but that will send everything up to the top. So maybe we should do that, you know, just because, because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link below show more. I'm going to grab anything I see on my tile that is nice and clean as far as paint goes. I really kind of like that sky just the way it is. I got to put a thumbprint in the bottom. And I am going to go ahead and let myself make odd shapes in my mountains. Maybe I'll put a tree up there. <laughs> it's definitely odd shapes. But I know I can add other paint in between those shapes. And that's kind of what I'm interested in doing. I'm going to rock that edge catcher as the paint rolls down. I'm not going to worry about what my bottom half is doing. I'm always worrying about it in other, other videos. This time I'm not going to do that so much. I'm going to let all of that go back down somewhat. Rock that. Bring it back around. Clean it up. Oop, I, got, I left some stuff on my spatula. I need a different spatula. 
So here comes the paint. Oh, and there's some brown in there. Son of a gun. Oh well. It pays to keep it wiped up and be careful of it. I'm going to put that away so I don't pick it up again. I've got these really neat shapes that I'm that I'm completely enamored of. Actually, they're very cool. We're just going to let them be trees or something. Very, very cool. Love it. Let's just let them be what they are, whatever they are. I'm going to use my Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatula, number four with the pointy tip, to push back down into to fill a gap. And I'm going to use my finger, because I trust my finger far more than I trust any other tool I have to fill in that gap. And I can always swirl it around if I feel I need to. I don't, I'm not sure I need to so much. That's pretty cool. I like it a lot. So I'm going to finish this by putting some more white, white metallic from Anita's in those spaces. And I have a little paint that I'm okay with. Whoops, I was until that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got some darker clouds coming on in the sky. Okay, well, never mind. Um, it'll be okay. I'm going to let all of that get knocked off my spatula and run right over the side. I'm going to wipe off all that brown paint and wish I had really stuck to my guns. I'm going to wash that spatula off because I do not want any more dark paint and there's some hiding there around the end. All right, so what do I see here that I want to fix? I had some, oh, I got rid of all that beautiful blue paint from uh, leftovers. Do I dare? I really like what's going on up there. I really don't want to dare. I am going to just risk a little bit of, uh, a little bit of pushing. If I get a little schmutz in my sky, it's just going to make it that much more realistic looking, right? She says that like we know. And I'm almost done, so I'm going to tell you guys what I always tell you, which is shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you, and it's a big help to me. If you give me a thumbs up, it helps the YouTube algorithm know that I'm popular enough to place me in places where more people can find my videos, and that's good for everybody because then I make more videos. Um, if you watch more videos, watch all the way through whenever you can possibly manage to run them because that... Uh, that also tells the YouTube algorithm what it needs to know to give me better placement. And I like bringing you guys a video every day and helping you out. And I don't know about those odd shapes. I don't know what they are, but I kind of want to keep them. They just look like old dry branches to me. So I'm just going to drag them out a little bit. With my bamboo skewer because I can. I suppose I could probably even put some leaves on them, but I don't know that this desert scene needs leaves. So the silver is kind of cool. I should not have put that blue in there. Never mind, I'll wipe it off. <laughs> you can recover from mistakes. I'm living proof of that. We haven't torched and we will torch to release the bubbles in the paint. That's pretty cool. I like it. It's a little cartoony, but I'm good. I'm going to wipe off my spatula, which I keep saying I'm doing and then not doing. And I definitely say, you don't want to come back and find your spatula not wiped off later. So I really could just keep tipping that, but I don't believe I will give myself permission for that because it's pretty cool. I said I was going to put some trees in, I just didn't imagine they were going to be dead trees. There's something in there. Hopefully I can get it out. I'm going to steal a little paint. Because, like I said, I'm loving those shapes. 
got to be a little careful about your puddles because they will pull in all kinds of directions and not look as realistic. I feel like there should be a cow skull in here somewhere. Channeling uh, Georgia O'Keeffe. She didn't just do flowers. She did. Uh, she did desert scenes too. We're just going for it. We're having a good time. Probably gonna have to touch up my trees. They're very stylized. And they're kind of cool too. Evidently long dead. I can steal a little paint from wherever. Just a dot is all it takes, really. On the end of that skewer. I can put some roots down. That's pretty cool. I didn't think about that. Yeah, let's just make those shapes continue down in. Put a few more bumps up there. Escape. You don't know what that could be. It's textural. I like it. The other trees on the horizon. Why not? All right, that's two minutes. I do give lessons at the house. I do sell my artwork. You may inquire through YouTube. You may look on the end screens for my website and talk to me, communicate with me through that way. Um, you will find on the end screens also a monthly contest where if you donate to help keep the studio going, thank you to everybody who's done so in the last year. Appreciate it very much, and before that even. Um, you'll find this month's prizes and uh, a contest that correlates with whichever month, hopefully if I'm on time, uh, is going on. And 700 plus videos that if you watch more videos, that's a great place to go and binge if you want to. And uh, I'm happy with all of that, except for this right here. And now I'm happy with that too. So you're going to be gone in a second. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard going, yeah, I want something to break that up a little bit. And yeah, I'm doing it upside down. I'm a risk taker. Cool. We're good. So that's a 12 by 16 inch canvas, and I hope to see you guys again. I love you. There's over 73,000 of you, and that was a lot of fun to play with, and I'm going to do another canvas in a minute a different way, hopefully, and uh, we'll see what happens with that one. Oh, if you're still here, I told you to release the bubbles in the paint that get caught when you mix pouring medium in. My paint pouring recipe is below the video, and thank you, thank you, thank you for the thumbs up that keeps me, keeps me in good placement.